Alrighty, I have a really awesome action-packed construction update and just regular park update for you guys on Canada's Wonderland. It is so packed with information. Stick around for the whole video. I'm gonna have Snoopy's Racing Railway track installment at the very end. I'm gonna have really cool information about track inspection and welding on Leviathan. And of course, as you see right in front of you, Behemoth's lift chain being replaced. So as part of B&M's regular maintenance, like when you buy a new car, you get those that maintenance schedule you're supposed to follow, Bulger and Mabillard coasters, which is Behemoth, Yukon, and Leviathan, have routine maintenance schedules that they're supposed to follow as well. So as you see, what's going on here is the chain is being replaced on Behemoth. As well, if you notice, the gearbox was missing from the lift hill. So those two things are being serviced and worked on and replaced. Um, and you'll see uh, Behemoth hopefully open up on time as this was, looks like it may have been a little bit of a last minute, not too last minute, but pretty last minute kind of thing. But yeah, you know Wonderland, they knock it out and they always end up opening things on time. Um, as you see here, welding is taking place on Leviathan's support structure for the main lift hill. I say the main lift hill as if there's two. There's only one. Um, but as you can see, welding is going on. This is also regular maintenance. Things just crack. That's what happens. The park has... Um, machines that sense these, which I'll show you at the end of the video, and then they go and fix them. So this is something that happens on every building, every structure, every roller coaster. So this is very normal, and as you see, Wonderland is replacing it. I know that they're doing this because from afar, you can even see the welding arc, so the electrical welding. Um, so that is the only thing that can take place. And you see the secondary crane down there. It lifts up metal parts that they would then weld onto the structure. You can actually see them from afar. You can see a different color. Um, but yeah, as you see over here at front gate, they're d uh, installing that water main. It almost looks like um, one of the main water mains being retrofitted and upgraded. Again, you're gonna see a lot of this at Canada's Wonderland, uh, upgrading the infrastructure as they get ready for future expansions. Um, that is something common that Cedar Fair is doing at a lot of their parks. Tundra Twister is in the same state that it has been for a bit, but you can definitely see footings and cement and concrete and all that. So hopefully we see the pad soon. Uh, the pump house is finally getting some service and work done to it, as you can see right here, as they get ready for um, to fix it. <laughs> and so it works this season. Um, My Buster also has signs of more work continuing. Wonder Mountain's Guardian finally has that track segment removed for them to remove the trains. The trains have been sitting there the entire off season um, that we suspect. They, usually they remove them before the end of Winterfest, but they were there all of Winterfest. So that was something different. Snoopy's Racing Railway. All right, what you see in the yellow is is supports. So all those yellow sections, the supports are installed. The green section is track that's installed. So as of today, around 1 p.m., the green track has been installed and the yellow supports have been installed. So a very large portion of the coaster is already installed. It looks like it's gonna be an easy build. It is really hard to see right now that specific section because it's hidden by pine trees from where I'm legally allowed to fly. So I'm not able to get you guys a really cool shot yet, but you know, in the coming days, you'll see more track segments installed, so you'll be able to see it. So if you look through the trees really closely in the next shot, I think you'll be able to see the track um, really well, or if it's this segment, I, I can't remember which one has the track, this one right there. So if you look really closely, just a lot above that fence line, you can see a bit of the helix right there. And if you look even closer leading into the station, you can see some of the supports. So they're working on that all day. Um, honestly, by tomorrow, there's probably gonna be a little bit more track installed too. Um, I'll start flying daily for you guys. This drone can see really close. Um, so uh, I'm pretty fortunate for that. Um, the Right now, the station is looking a lot smaller than what you see in the other coaster and the animation and all that. So uh, I'm a little confused, but I know once it comes together, it'll make a lot more sense. So hopefully, you know, when we see that, <laughs> we'll know what's going on with Snoopy's Racing Railway. Um, outside of that, there isn't too much else going on. Um, I can confirm the footings are actually done for Snoopy's Racing Railway. They were just really hard to see. Um, in fact, they're right there in front of the screen amongst those orange little stakes. They're just so low to the ground, it almost looked like snow. So they are there. Um, it just wasn't visible from, you know, flying this far away. Um, but yeah, Art Engineering is the one building this ride. Uh, or, sorry, who built this ride. And they also built the track and supports for Wonder Mount's Guardian. But I didn't know this. They're also the ones behind the devices that scan the rides for cracks and structural problems. So here is Art Engineering's device on both Dragonfire and Leviathan at Canada's Wonderland. 
um, for their regular routine maintenance, looking for any uh, structural issues and cracks in the structure that Wonderland can then weld and replace. This is common, and every park does this. But yeah, I, I thought that was really cool information that I didn't know personally, and I thought maybe you guys didn't know, but our engineering is behind these devices, those little um, balls, if you call it. Um, that go along the tracks and scan for that that stuff. So I thought I'd let you guys know that. And Art Engineering also has that flat ride, new flat ride at the beginning of the video that I showed you. And full honesty, I could totally see Wonderland picking up one of those for Planet Snoopy or the kids area. It looks like it would be a fun little ride for Planet Snoopy. So who knows? Maybe we'll see that in 2024. Anyways, thanks so much for watching today's video, guys. Have a good one. Bye.